So what would you do if you had to if you had to phone RAC? Get me phone out and phone RAC. <laughs> yeah, right. What a moan fest today. It's you that's moaning today. It's usually me. Ooh, a goat. This mud is no good for your white shoes, is it? Oh no. my goodness. Something to do with the van, the yeah. curtains. Ooh. It smells amazing. You can just smell the basil. Good morning, guys. Welcome to a new vlog. Um, the sun was supposed to the sun was supposed to be out today and it's gloomy and grim as usual and it's it's just so depressing when the sun's not here. Yesterday I was in a right upbeat mood um, but I'm feeling extremely anxious this morning and the reason why is because we've been watching um, some YouTube in, uh, some YouTubers on van life and we've, we've watched this particular channel, they're called Those Happy Days, we've watched them for on and off since before we did the van trip with the girls and um, they're not your kind of van lifers that are pretty, pretty, pretty um, sunsets, running on the beach, all that kind of thing. It's more reality and it's what we're expecting from our van. Anyway, their van basically blew up and they had to have a new engine before Christmas and it's blown up again and they need a new engine at the minute they're out in India. So I feel extremely anxious because it's the kind of thing that we're going to have to deal with. Um, but you, you pick up tips when you watch other people, like they're, the RAC cover that they've got only limits them to towing within 10 miles and so we obviously would go for something that will bring us back to the lodge if we had to. For those guys, they live in it, so it's their home, so obviously when the van blows up, they have nowhere to go. For us, we could always come back here or go back to the apartment, whatever. But um, I was, we were just sat there like nail biting on his, on his like fingertips and we were like, oh God, we can't, we can't do this. It, it, it's gonna, if this happens to us, do you know what I mean, we'll be like, well, Lee won't know what to do, he won't have a bleeding clue. Excuse me. What? I know what to do in any situation. So what would you do if you had to if you had to phone RAC? Get me phone out and phone RAC. <laughs> yeah, right. You don't even we haven't even got RAC. Well, well yeah, but whatever we've got. Well, if we're right now today, who are you gonna ring? AA. We're not with AA. Well whoever we're with. Yeah, we'll exactly. Out an email. So anyway, we, all on we feel again. we feel extremely anxious. Um, but we're gonna put a pack together when we finish the van of all the like the things that could go wrong. Like we've got all the spare parts in the van. Um, today we're going to go to City Electrical Factors and I'm putting in spare cables. So I've made some spare 70 mil cables. We just need the lugs for the end. And then when we go back uh, home on Sunday. Um, for Mother's Day. For Mother's Day. We are going to take all my cousin's tools and he's going to put the, um, he's got a, a crimper. Because I can't even find mine. I don't know where it is. It's somewhere buried in the bedroom. But rather than me digging it out, my cousin's going to put the crimping ends on it anyway. So we have to call it City Electrical Factors because the ones that I've got left, um, I've got bits and bats in a box. But the rest of them that I had are in the box with the crimpers, which I can't find. So they might be back at the apartment. I don't know. Anyway, we're going to go and get them rather than fanning around looking for them. He's going to put the cable ends on us on 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 them for us. Um, what else we got to do? Bit of shopping in Brid. Tidy this place. Up. Tidy. Why are you whispering? Tidy this place up. Yeah, but if we put that in the car... We're going to put it in the car. Then it's know. done for Sunday, yeah. do you know what I mean? And all this spare wire that he gave me, like all this, is all leftovers. So, I mean, really, in? really, we should put at least a coil of each in the tools, in the spare set, shouldn't we? Probably. Um, this is what I got when we were originally wiring the van in, in like 13, uh, three core cable. Um, if we put a microwave in, I might need some of that, so I'll pull about sort of five or six metres off. Um, and then there's other tools like the, the crimp ends, uh, the normal 12 volt crimp ends, rubber gloves, glues and all that kind of thing. That's the plan for today. Right, first stop is Morrison's. So we've decided, uh, I said yesterday that I want to make a tomato and basil soup, like all fresh with like fresh ingredients, a couple of tin tomatoes as well, but just to bulk it up. Um, and some crusty bread with some proper salted butter for dinner. You fancy that? For, yeah, for tea tonight. Yeah, I'll put I'll put some veg in it as well, just to bulk it up. Do you know what I mean? Like a potato and some onions and things like that. But it's been so long since I've made like a cream of tomato and basil soup, and I really just fancy it. Something like wintry and wholesome. And we're gonna get some sweet corn as well. No, no I'm sick of sweet. No, no. Yeah, we've got some of that stuff left now. We've got to have well, I suppose. But I'm not. Can. I'm not keep having it and having it and having it. Like, and then you'll be sick of it and never want it again. <laughs> Oh, right. that would actually with some orange ones in. I'm gonna, I'm not gonna blend these. I'm just gonna do them half blended, so there's like chunks in. But then I need lots of normal tomatoes for like to bulk um, it up. Yeah, so we'll have three packs of them. Freaking hell, how much are you making? Well, the last one. Don't want. I don't want a plant. Basil. Oh, why? What do you want? I need lots and lots of basil. I don't want plants. I want like lots delete. and lots of basil. Here, there. Where? Oh, good. Right, two packs of them. Two tins of chopped tomatoes. Just to bulk it out. 
here some apples and some chicken tikka slices to go in with salad for lunch. Gonna get one of these massive um, peanut butters, I might as well, it's an offer, 5 50 I go through that much. It's like one of my favourite foods, it always has been since I was a kid. And uh, more of these chocolate mousses, which we absolutely love now. Look at them. So oh, nice. Pepper. nice. So we could always bags. freeze what we don't have if we have that with the uh, soup. Yeah? Go on. Well, if you get tired walking around Morrison's now, you can, um, can do with the rest, take a actually. seat. Yeah. I can do with the rest. Got to put it somewhere better than the bloody freezer section. At least it guarantees you're not going to sit there long. Must remember to start taking our own carry bags in. 60 pence each for a carry bag at Morrison's now. 20 pence, pence at Heron Foods, 20 pence at Heron Foods. I get why they do it to um, cut down on plastic, but then you walk around. They cut down on plastic, they just stop selling them. They walk, you Full walk, stop. You walk around aisles in supermarkets and everything's plastic. They should make them, you know, the suppliers and stuff cut down on plastic. Yeah, but most of the reusable bags are plastic as well. And they're 60 pence for a normal carry bag now. You could have bought a Twix for at that. Morrison's. Well, yeah, I could. Which is covered in plastic. Yeah, everything's got plastic in it these days, isn't it? Anyway, it's not boring people. The supermarkets are mainly to blame for all their, the things that they cover. They, they, it's now law that they have to charge, but what they charge, I think it's minimum of 10 pence, so everything else is basically what they want to make. To they make do money. have paper bags which are 40 pence and more. But they're half the size. Yeah, they're not big enough. So you'd need three. Mm. Anyway, stop moaning. Mm. Uh, we're going to City Electrical Factors now. We're going to get the lugs for the end of the... Um, the connector cables which is what the batteries connect up with just in case we have a faulty one or anything like that i just want to be prepared and have spares that we carry with us um so these lugs i can get on amazon but there's so many different types different type openings different type screw holes um so i'm just going to get what we had last time for the batteries at the back and i got them from city electrical factory which is why we're going back there fingers yeah. crossed they've got them if not we're off to beverly yeah, we'll hope they have. this time next week it will be in and get hopefully getting its repairs done and then we'll get it back and we'll be on its way that just makes my stomach knot. It just knots my stomach. Watched that video this morning. I know it is. There we go. Got them. Bloody ten ninety nine a pack. These things for five of them. I only need four actually for two two lugs of cable at different lengths and colours. So uh, there we go. So I just need to lend my cousin's crimps to uh, crush the ends. At least they didn't um, charge sixty pence for a bag. No. Well, a couple of bags and I'd almost had some freebies, wouldn't I? Um, so yeah, I, I had to. I should do have some of these with the crimps, but I can't sod, find the sodding crimps. I think they're at the apartment, and it's not worth me driving over there to get them. So um, there we go. Right, we decided before we go back to the lodge, we're going to get steps up. So we've drove up to Surbey, uh, which is North Brid, north of North Beach. Um, there's there's like a hall here that's run by the local council. The only problem is the car park doesn't open till April which is a bit daft because there's a lot of tourists here at the minute, especially when the kids' holidays have been in the last couple of weeks. Nothing's open, and yet they'd make a fortune if they opened the car parks. So they've had to park down a road, just randomly on one spot. I'm just trying to cross the road here. Um, but you can walk through the car park to get onto the seafront, so we're going to do that now. Closed car parks and expensive carry bags. Yes. What a moan fest today. It's you that's moaning today. It's usually me. Here we go. Closed. Close till April. Left the oh no, 29th of the 3rd it reopens. Oh, well, not, not so, not yet. Um, some gloves. Well, no, not really. So, uh, we used to come up here with James. We used to get, go to McDonald's. The car. Yeah, James the car. We used to come to McDonald's, get a cup of tea, didn't we? Pull up there on the grass and just lot, sit overlooking the sea. A lot of the time we were in Covid, when we didn't really have anywhere to go, we used to come up here, didn't we? Just sit in the car. No, it was after Covid. Well, I think it was in between, what, the, the between the lockdowns. Between lockdowns, maybe, yeah. yeah. Listen to all those birds. Sounds like a churchyard. They're crows, yeah. So we reckon we've got a theatre why it doesn't open until April because it's a grass car park, which means that there'll be lots and lots of sludge and um, it would ruin it for when it does need to be open. That's our theory anyway. But a solution to that is open it, tarmac it, open it all year round, they'll make the money back for the tarmac. Why That's don't what you I'd do. To council? I might write to them actually. I like how that house there, I think it's a house. It's like a lot. Or a lot, I don't know what it is, but... They've, like a double stacked lot. Yeah, they've put themselves a, um, a balcony to sit out on. And mirrored glass. So they've got that um, sea view. Mirrored glass. Yeah, well, that's what we need in back bedrooms. Well, in sunlight, it probably would have worked, but you can, I, in fact, I can still see through that now, actually. Ooh, a goat. Yeah. Eating grass. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Oh, come here, I ain't got up for you, but... Where? Yeah, yeah. So this is part of Subi Hall, I think, like Subi Gardens. Um, is that the house up there, Subi House? Yep. Subi Hall? Oh yeah, we've been... Uh, yeah, it is. 
I think so. We've been through uh, in there. We've done it on a vlog actually. The other side of that fence is actually yeah. ground where they have the little zoo. Yeah, so we're just walking around. She's getting steps up. I think the last time we went it were absolutely freezing ice cold, wasn't it? Are we kids. I can't remember to be honest. There's the sea. Oh well, yeah, they've got a little zoo, haven't we? Yes, yeah. it was freezing cold. Yeah. So uh we're not going in the hall or anything like that. I'll never I'll never forget. When we went into the um we went in to have a look, thinking it's a stately home, and there were a Martin Spencer's bedding on. Yeah, Mum says, I've Just, got that, Mark, I've got that bedding it. at home. And we're all like, are you sure? It's from 1800s. And we had a look at the label on it. It was from Martin Spencer. Yeah, it kind of ruined it after <laughs> that, because nothing was authentic. <laughs> so I didn't realise you can actually just walk around the gardens. You don't have to pay or anything. Well, usually I think you do. Well, I don't know. It just says no cycling through this day and keep your dogs on the lead. Well, usually this is the ticket booth, maybe because it's out of season. Yeah. Or so maybe you can booth ahead, I don't know. Just walk around, so there's the house. And these are all the grounds and things. I do know there's a tea room at the back if you want a cup of tea. Oh yeah, the grounds are massive. That's the tiny hall. We're here then, are we? Uh, here? Are we? No. No, I don't think so. We're here. Oh, the land train's there. We're there. We're there. Yeah. What's number one then? Oh yeah, Clock Tower Cafe isn't number one. But we have just bought a salad tab, but we could have a coffee, I suppose. Donkey's here. Eeyaw. No, I can hear a lot of... That looks like a two-headed horse. <laughs> Doesn't it? Two, two donkeys. A two-headed horse. You'll be able to see it in a minute. Let me get a picture. See if you can see it. It still looks like a two-headed horse. Let me just take a photo of it on. Keep still. One on each side. Nick just goes to me, you know what this is? Like, I don't know that it's a bandstand. Well, anything's possible. People do watch the videos, they know what you like. It's a bandstand. So the question is, why is it a bandstand? Um, Did bands used to play on it? Like harps and things like that. Like that kind of, not quite sure you get harp in Brid. I don't know. I, I don't think know. it was, I think, because my, my hometown used to have one in the park as well. Um, and they used to have, when we used to have like, every year they used to have like a, a garden fete or a fair, where they had stalls. You're getting bored, waiting for me. I'm just wondering what your point is. Why is it a bandstand? Because the band used to play in it during well, yeah, the fate. Obviously. Yeah, but is it a bandstand for what? bands or is it called that for something else? I'll have to Google it back in a minute. Right, quick look on Wikipedia. It says a bandstand is a circular semicircle or polygon structure set in a park or garden or a pier or an indoor space designed to accommodate musical bands performing concerts. A simple construction, it both creates an ornamental focal point and serves for acoustic requirements while providing shelter for the changeable weather. That's why. So there is the hall. If you ever did want to come in, I mean obviously the hall, the hall is authentic, it's just they've had to do some replications inside with the furniture and stuff. And is it open now? 6th of November to... 9th, 9.30 till 3pm. Don't say all about gardens anymore, does it? I'm sure they used to charge gardens. Uh, I don't know. Hmm. Let's go and have a look, see if the, uh, the tower cafe is open. It is, I can see people in it. Right, so the gardens is chargeable, uh, but between the 28th of October and the 5th of November on a day ticket of £10. But yeah, that's the winter months. Doesn't make any sense. The clock tower cafe, we have been in here before. Sat in that window there, we all were kids the last time we came here. She did mash of salt, didn't she? Because she couldn't have what she wanted. Oh, maybe, yeah. It's vegan flapjack, I'm afraid. I have nibbles and chocolate. It makes it, it healthier. Just, it just tastes fine. When it's vegan. What's that? That's your Americana with milk. It looks more like a um, like a latte or something. No. Um, so I picked this seat because behind me is the... Um, what do you call them? Clock. What do you call them? Pendulum. Though? Pendulum, I thought it was. But I didn't want to make myself sound stupid if I got it wrong. What, like that sound? The um, pendulum from the clock tower is there, just behind us. So it was a proper clock tower. From 1847. Oh, there we go. So his famous clock tower was designed by full architect Henry Lockwood and added in 1847. Friggin' hell, that pendulum's been swinging there since 1847. I'm sure it's stopped. Well, it's been there since 1847. Oh, yeah. What do you use it for? It's got red bits in it. It's because it's vegan. But. It tastes absolutely gorgeous. It's probably one of the best white I've ever had. Dried treacly and heavy, like toffee-like. Right, so I'm just looking at what powers this club. Well, it says it on the sign. It said something about um, the guy that created it, Hull Harrison, James Harrison of Hull Harrison, is credited with devising the, the gravity escapement. Without that, the clock would stop. So I've just looked it up, and apparently, 
An escapement is part of a clock that converts the energy of a falling weight into impulses that keep the pendulum swinging, which means it runs on nothing. No winding up, nothing, no power. It just uses gravity, like a slingshot type thing that just keeps it nudging. That's amazing, isn't it? Right, yeah. And yet Genius. we can't use that technology for something else, like keeping lights on and things. I'm sure we could. Right next to the cafe is the zoo, which we've been into a couple of times on the vlogs. Um, so you go in there, the zoo opens daily 10 till 3.30 p.m. And then if we carry on, is um, the gardens, which it yeah, looks like we can uh, just walk into. So keep getting the steps up, or I think we're up to about 3,000 at the moment. So just 7,000 left to go. You can see into the zoo here. It's not a massive zoo, but it's, it's all right for kids and stuff. Uh, parrot or something there. Well, I never knew that. They've got Subaru Hall Cottages. Where? Formerly the gatehouses and lodge to the grade one list to Georgian House. So you can um, come and stay here if you want. It's not a bad place to stay because you're very close to the seaside. Yeah. Very close to the sea and what have you. Let's move this way then. Yeah. Well, where are we now? So, we're there. Where are they? Uh, Maybe it was that number five. Maybe it was that house when we came that's in. Right, it is. Number five, Holiday Cottages. Oh no, that's the gatehouse. Uh, yeah, it said yeah. it used to be the gatehouse. Ah, uh, right, okay. I think, yeah. So if the other one was a bandstand, what's that there? Uh, stand stand. I don't know. I don't know what that is. Let us know in the comments if you know. Stand or something. I don't know. I could Google lens it and find out. Oh, there's lots of um, lodges, lodges there. Oh, wait a minute. Oh. That's because there's a lodge park behind Sobe where there's a golf course on it as well. I think that's, that's separate. Mm. But we'll find out when we get down here. It's nothing new, but it's so good to see you. We do this every day, and I'm still so amazed by you. Ooh, it's just suddenly turned muddy, this woodland walk. A lot of the places have got these chippings now, which is quite nice. But then they disappear. This mud is no good for your white shoes, is it? Oh no. my goodness. What do you mean, oh my goodness? I've got a tiny little bit of mud on there. <laughs> you have to That's wash it. them when we get back. Yeah, let's turn around. Let's get back onto the mulch. You bring the ideas. Right, so we're coming to the walled gardens. Uh, I think we've been in here before. We've definitely been in here before because I'm sure we've been in, in there and it were red hot once. Oh, that was your thing. I know what you're thinking. I know I am thinking. We weren't with the kids, that were canon all. Mm. Nice gardens, nice gardens. Bit of ASMR for you. The gentle sound of water. And then these uh, fish coming up because they think I've got some up for them. Sorry. Guys, I've got nothing for you. That's a big, big one there, freaking hell. Having a little rest on a bench, another bench in loving memory of somebody, Charlie Adams, who what spent many happy times here from 1923 to 1988. This always reminds me of when I was a kid and my dad always used to plant these kind of plants in our front garden. And we always ended up every year he always used to get like fresh bedding plants, put them in, and we used to have the most colourful garden on the street. I must say it is relaxing sat here. What we're going to do now is we're going to go up to those benches in the sunshine and do some comments of the day. So yeah, we thought we'd do comments of the day while we're out and we've got a nice background, a brick wall with a bit of... Um, blinded with sun. A bit of flowers on it. Should have brought you uh, Ray-Bans. I know, I know. Uh, so as always, thank you so much for... I'm going to say I'm, I'm in here as well. I can't, I can't even see the screen. Thanks for commenting on all our videos. It's much appreciated. For goodness sakes. Let's let me get my super drives out. For Nick. For me. Morning. Jenny Sadler, hi Jenny. hi Jenny, comments on all our videos and all the way from Australia. Apparently they're having heat waves in Australia, so uh, I hope uh, you Wish know. Wish we were having a bleeding well. heat wave. That's better. She says, woohoo, the blinds and curtains look amazing. Great job, Nick. You clever little bunny, love you always. I'm just gonna reply to that one as well. So thanks so much, Jenny, so thanks. Um, Curtain gate is over, as we said. I think, uh, you know what, I think the next vlog, we're still doing it. I still, we're doing well, we'll see. You'll get seen it. It'll be over by now. We're doing the I'm pleats God. and I put the um, I put the fascia board above the back curtains as well okay. to make it blend into the roof. Jessica Scraps. Jessica Scraps says, the only thing more surprising than you still working on the curtains is that so many of us are still fascinated by them. <laughs> <laughs> people are very passionate. They're invested. People, people are getting angry 
people are getting very emotional over it. We're just sat laughing. Um, Janet Stevenson says, and I love it because obviously Janet Stevenson, you're from Scotland by the sounds of it. She says, you're wee mum to the rescue, Lee. I love it when Scottish people say wee instead of little. Um, so I wonder what the etymology of that is. Does that mean the, Where it came the from? origin of it? I don't yeah. know. HNH455 says, I don't think the curtains are that bad like the comments are saying. Um, I think they're nice, the white curtains, they just look, they, they, they blend, do you know what I mean? They're um, non-intrusive, you can't yeah. see them when they're drawn and they serve the purpose of giving it some cosiness on a night. Mm. That's and it doesn't, it doesn't close the space off. Oh, he says. And it's great for, I mean, the reason why we got the white ones. Can't comment? No. They look nice and cosy and we'll stop insects flying in. Well, we've got a fly net coming, but um, the reason why we, we went for the white ones is so that when we're on a park somewhere and a day like this where it's bright and sunny we can have the door open but we can still use the shower unless a gust of wind comes and then we show his ass to the entire campsite no i'll do a comment that's not about the curtains from oh, a big one. kiwi angie she says i lived in new zealand and as a child they had buns called sally luns they were round small buns with fruit in and pink icing on the top very similar with but, coconut but, but oh no not coconut no they had white, white icing ones on. it's, we it's basically a toasted currant tea cake that's not toasted with icing on the top someone here would like just a random username says can i order some pre-made curtains to measure from you guys thanks yes we've got special on pink header curtains at the minute somebody else says doctor doctor i keep seeing curtains everywhere pull yourself together uh, boom boom somebody says uh tris Tara Carey says, you both make me laugh and smile. You're both so real and comical. Nick those poor curtains. I don't know why. Nick those curtains poorly. Yes, I've had enough by the end of it. He's, he's, he's yeah, but if you'd perfectionist. Wait a minute. If you'd have listened to me from the beginning, I said I wanted white I know, curtains. Yeah. And you, I, you insisted on having I said pink curtains. What a lot of people said is the white will get mucky very quick. That's why I've used industrial Scotch guard. And if they get mucky, Curtain gate will be back because I'll make another pair. Megan says, I'm so proud of you two. It was beautiful in person. I was so overwhelmed. Absolutely outstanding job, uh, Megan. Thank who you. came to see us the other week. Uh, we She had a little tour of she the van. She Taylor tour. Yep. And one more, Nicola Ward says, very impressive. The blinds look great. So uh, thank you. Thanks and for we, commenting, guys. I think they look great as well. Yeah, nice, relaxing place. Yeah. You can always, t we, yeah, but we can tell that we like them because the minute they went in, we, said, we, just, we both said, done. That's it now. The minute the pink ones then went in, I think my first comment was, they won't stay. Mm. Do you remember? Mm. So. I mean, we, we got the inspiration for the colour off um, a, a, an Instagram account that we, um, we we follow loads of van lifers on Instagram. And when we were getting the van, we spent weeks and weeks and weeks looking for a design. Pulling and, in pictures yeah, from different sources. Pinterest and, was invaluable. Yeah, I found uh, a few um, Instagram accounts with this style of layout and um, I showed Nick and he's like yes that's the layout that I want I'd found I'd like, found a similar it. layout on Pinterest with There's the corner a few that do this same layout a corner shower we wanted the corner shower that was an absolute must yeah. and we wanted the light on the steps mm. so we're, we'll talk about those accounts a little bit we're gonna do like a full van recap who we've been talking to, to get ideas from some of these guys have been helping us out with inspiration and stuff um, so what my point I've no idea I switched off about half hour ago. I forgot what my point was. Good. All right, let's move on. <laughs> so, um... Something to do with the van and yeah. the curtains. Oh! Freak. <laughs> I forgot what my point was now, for goodness sakes. Something about the layout of the van. There you go. There we go. So this is what we've been looking at, apart from the camera, when we were doing that last scene. In a month's time, this will all be full of yeah. colour. And people. And people. Very relaxing, And chargeable. Minute. Yeah, it's nice that they just let you around in winter, isn't it? We've never done this wall garden before. It's, it's warm today, really isn't it? It's not cold. No. We were freezing yesterday. I do like that. I don't know what it is. The, the um, tree thing on the wall, I'm on about the red, I like the colour. That'd be nice, wouldn't it, going up the lodge? Although it would encourage more spiders and we get enough as it is. Absolutely, it would. Right, let's have a quick look in the rose garden. No roses, it's just the same as this. Well, it's season, isn't it? let's walk around. Anyway, we're trying to get our steps up. We're in competition with our friends Lisa and Aid. They've just been out for a walk and they've, they've gone past our step count. Wait a minute, me walking to the counter to order that coffee bet then? No, they've got over 4,000 now. What? So we need to keep at it. So I was showing you my Samsung Health in the last vlog and saying that we have uh, like friends on it and stuff. We don't have Lisa and Aid because they're on iPhone. Um, but just get to get that motivation, do your steps and stuff and get out. Um, even if it's like, you know, obviously if you're stuck inside at, a, at an office job, whatever, just that motivation to get out is just get some friends and compete with them. And uh, we've been sending a steps to Lisa and Aid this morning, screenshotting a Samsung Health, sending them. And they were like, oh, we're trying, we're trying. And then um, Is that when she'd only done 300? Yeah, she'd only done 300. We'd done 200 this way, 2000, sorry. And um, 
and then Angel says, right, I've just been out for a walk, and he did another like 4,000, like, bugger, he's done more than us. So we're just walking around now, getting a step. So literally going, doing loops around the road. And the more we do, the healthier it is. Oh, what a picture of that. What? That, that woman's bum? No, no, what's in front of us? The woman's bum. So, uh, random woman's bum there. Do you want me to get out of the way? Yeah. Let me get out of the way, then you can get the bum in the photo. Isn't it nice when the temperature's just perfect for walking around in? It's nice and protected in here, even if, even if it was windy, we'd be protected by the walls. Don't damage my sunglasses. Have them back. No, you keep them. Where's the place for them? It's in my bag. Keep them on I now. left it on the bench. <laughs> I met an old man I said, tell me your story He took out an old pen Squirrel! Hello! Nookins is a chubby one. Must have had lots of nuts, nuts, yeah. Look how tame they are. I love squirrels. I know like a lot of people say they're vermin, but I love them. Well, there's actually, I looked that up. So the cute. Day. The reason why... Yeah? The reason why grey squirrel, squirrels have dominated the red squirrels is because of something to do with their gut bacteria. They can tolerate things and the red squirrels can't and that's what's killed them off or something like that. Mm. It's gone. Just seen a ghost. And, I look down. and then we're back up front of the house, so we went in that way, went all around the gardens and came back out this way. It's a nice little walk actually. At some point, I must look up the history of that. Yeah. Obviously a, a, a family, a famous family lived here. There's, a, there's actually a QR code on the side of the building that tells you. Is there? Is it? Oh no, what's this? No, that's <laughs> Miss Health beauty and Beauty Class. Scan the QR code to find out how people keep fit, kept fit at Subby Hall and Gardens in the late 1930s. Well, they did that on lawn. What laid down? There you go, you can scan that if you want to find out. Oh, I always feel sorry for donkeys. Why, why do donkeys have that kind of face don't they, that make you feel sorry for them? Well, maybe because back in the day, people used to well, yeah, they used to labour them yeah. into um, riding on yeah. kids' backs, riding on the backs and well, on the seaside. They still do that, don't they? No, I suppose. I mean, if they're, if they're fed and they don't care, it's obviously getting them exercise. Little donkey. I used to love that song when we were at school. It was my favourite. What do you call oh, it? Oh, it's a man donkey. What do you call that? Is it a? Is it not a Christmas song? Is it? Yeah. It is a Christmas song. Random interesting fact about Bridlington, which we saw the other day on a sign. We had, we knew it already, but we just it well I forgot about it. it. We'd just seen a ship out there, and we're just wondering if it was catching lobsters. Bridlington is the lobster capital of Europe, so if you like lobster and have it in the UK in a restaurant or something, highly Very likely chance. that it's come from Bridlington. Look at the, um, is it apple blossom trees? I don't know, you're just making that up. No, apple, I think it's, it's not apple, apple blossom. Or cherry blossom, something like that. All out now. The only thing with them is they're a bit of a pain when there's, oh, there's some more there, look. It was last uh, March, wasn't it, when we went to Washington, we were interested yes. to see the apple blossom there. And we didn't. And we'd missed it. Yeah, they're a pain when they all start sort of like falling off the trees and stuff, but they do look nice. lunch today we're having um, this salad egg potato and we've added some um, Morrison's chicken tikka slices back just unpacking everything we got look at the size of that is that a kilo I don't know about really half a kilo a I love peanut butter um, all the things for us um, soup which Nick, Nick is gonna crack on with salt and pepper baps I just wanna I wanna rip that packet open and scoff one right now um, like this is everything I need potato, for the... Um, you put potatoes in the soup. Yeah, just to thicken uh, it up. Apples are not for the soup, that needs to go back. And we got... Oh, 100% plant, elm Lee. Yeah. Not like you to pick something like that. I probably do. I'm oh, you're putting garlic in as well? I'm going to put a few cloves, yeah. Right. Now the question is, should I do it in the slow cooker or should I just do it later on tonight? Um, it's up to you. It might taste nice in slow cooker, might it? Probably. Let it ferment or whatever. Yep. You left the fridge open. What? Tomato puree? I'll use that. I've got a little task for you as well. Oh no. Get a spoon and scoop all the seeds out for me. All the insides, everything. So you just want the... Um... Yeah, I just want the, the outer. Yeah. Just scoop it all out and shove it in that dish. And the same with these big ones and the cherry tomatoes. In fact, the cherry tomatoes, can probably leave it in. So the seeds in them are really tiny. And I'm actually going to put in the vines. Not the, not the branches, but the vine ends. Because... Odd. 
No, I once saw a Jamie Oliver smash. Well, that's a bit tight, isn't it? Yeah, I don't think you fancy them in your soup. They do smell nice, though, and they're really fragrant. Right, so they'll need cutting as well. Scooping out, you mean? Yeah. Right, while my lovely assistant's doing that, I'm going to be chopping two packets of basil with the herb scissors, and I'm going to chuck that in as well. And then I just need to... I'm not going to put any stock in until the end, because I don't know how salty it's going to be. But we'll, for now, we'll just put in the uh, tin of tomatoes, just for the base. Oh my god, that smells amazing, mm -hmm. smell that. I can smell it from here. I hated these herbs scissors at first, but when you actually use them for herbs, they're actually really good. Right, we're just chopping an onion, which all this is going to be blended, so it doesn't really matter I'm being like too chunky. I'm just going to chuck that in the uh, slow cooker. I think we may have got a bit too many tomatoes. Yeah, no, there's like really five packets. Little, why don't you keep the cherry tomatoes or whatever they are? I'm not going to put them all in. I'm going to put some in at the end. Just well, I'm going to I'll, I'll separate them at the end after I've blended it. But that's just to um, just chuck that away. Now that I've got a tom I've got a potato as well. Um, maybe I should have washed it before I did that. Need some more tommies. So put these in. This is just to thicken it up. The problem is when you make soup is it's always quite runny. Cut that brown bit off there. And then put these in small pieces so they can cook quicker. Chuck that in. You can always add corn flour if it's too thick at the end, but um, it's always better to do it with a bit of potato. Chuck that in. Oh my God, the pan, the, the thing's full. I know, you've done that mate. It's going to have to, uh, hopefully, it'll last us for about a week or so, this. Well, and then I'm just going to put in some um, tomato puree. There's a bit of a... This will add the sweetness to it. If we're not putting all those cherry tomatoes in. Not enough there. Let me open that second packet. Here you it. And then... And a bit more. And then I'm going to put in... In of chopped tomatoes, as if we didn't have enough tomatoes. But... Yeah. There we go. That goes in. Now, as it starts to cook, that will boil down, obviously. You've got one more there. Another one. Yep. Not going to put the cream in yet because what will happen is it'll end up cooking and then curdling, and it'll end up with cheese in it rather than. Um... Oh, I haven't put the garlic in. Right, so I'm just going to put a couple of cloves of garlic. When I say a couple, I mean half a bowl. Just, I'm going to chuck them in whole and let them just cook. I'm not going to peel them. I'm not going to grate them. Sorry. Right, let me just and then them. just chuck them in. Now that's done all them. So again, this is going to get blended, so it don't matter about it being chunky. And that's everything that's come out. It's a shame that you have to throw things away. Like I know, that. but you don't want seeds in your. Um, well, no, no in your thing. This is what it's looking like at the moment. Potatoes, tin of chopped tomatoes, um, big, what do you call them, big tomatoes? Mediterranean tomatoes. Yeah. Well, they weren't quite, they were like vine ripened, but they were, they were halfway between Mediterranean yeah. and normal. And then normal tomatoes. Five cloves of garlic, chuck them in. They can go away. I did actually get another potato. I don't think we've got enough in there, don't we? I'm not going to fit that in. So is that everything? Uh, yep, yeah, so if you can stick that on and stick it on high, and we'll come back to that in about three hours and see what it's like. Alright, stick the lid on and put that on. Right, I'm just going to try and get the basil mix, because I don't want it all to kind of wilt everywhere and not be flavoured, so I'm going to try my best without making it go all over the floor. And I'm actually going to put a vegetable stock cube in as well. What, in water or just uh, stock Well, cube? the juice for the tomato will hold it, that's fine. So just throw a stock cube in? Yeah. I'm on with a, um, a few bits to do. Um, this is just like the boring stuff that I don't usually show, because what's the point? But I thought I'd just show you what I'm doing while I'm doing it. Um, I'm just trying tidying out that drawer for starters. That's my like stationary cupboard where all my stuff are. Um, and this as well, I'm just doing some more patron letters and magnets and things which are all there and um, things that I just sent out as, as thank yous. And whilst I'm doing that as well, I'm just tidying all these pens out which I used to have for my like uh, journaling and stuff. Don't need all that now. 
um, and I'm also backing up all the last few bits of um, last few months of videos onto an external hard drive and it's also backed up on a cloud drive as well um, so that we've got it I had two or three copies of everything because it's on um, YouTube as well. So I'm just having a uh, sort of desk hour or two and getting everything sorted. Right, the soup's doing well. It's been in for a number of hours now. Um, it smells amazing. You can just smell the basil. Let me just get the spoon. So I'm about to blend it all together with the blender. And um, I've just actually buttered some of those tea cakes with a mouthpiece missing off the corner. I'm going to sprinkle it with parmesan and then put them in the air fryer, create it like a crispy garlicky bread without the garlic because there's enough garlic in there. And then um, add the cream and then serve. <laughs> blending enough yet because there's quite a lot of um, like bits of potato and onion in there but mm. yes it needs a little bit more tomato puree though mm. you can really taste the garlic right let me just put some more tomato puree in just add a little bit more sweetness you can actually actually add honey if you wanted to. I'm just going to blend that in. So I'm going to chop some of these and put them in for 10 minutes and then kind of take them out. I don't want to blend them. I want to be able to have these as like the chunky bits of um, tomato in the soup. Uh, take them, we'll put them in to cook, then take them back out again, add the cream and then put the tomatoes back in ready for serving. Right, here we go. So I'm just going to put these cherry tomatoes in that I've chopped scoop them in can't do it with two hands so i'm just going to have to do it and then come back to you there they go they're in so i'm just going to leave that to cook for another 10 15 minutes just to get those tomatoes cooked add the cream and then serve it all right while the tomatoes are cooking i'm just going to add the parmesan that we had left from the sweet corn put it on the bread stick it in the air fryer hopefully the butter will stop it from um going crispy on top um, but enough to melt the parmesan in that'll create like a nice cheesy bread should be just enough give each one a nice coating oh wait a minute it's been out for a few days and it's stuck together I'll just give it a crush in the packet there we go nice coating on each still quite a bit left lather it on And then stick these in the air fryer and they should create nice big croutony crusty breads with salt and pepper on one side and parmesan on the other. Are we ready to eat? I think so. The parmesan toast is done. You want me to try it you said? Yeah go on then. I've added a bit of honey and I've added um, <laughs> the rest of the tube of tomato puree and another stock cube. Mm. Yeah, it's it's nice. tangy, isn't it? Tangy, yeah, it's nice. It's like a tangy, but the, I've put most of the cream in it. The rest of the cream is just for garnish. I feel like it just needed some grated cheese on the top. We haven't got That's any of Wednesday day. Yeah, we haven't got any of But I uh, chucked a bit away earlier. Uh, well, I presume you chucked it away because it was out of date. But I've got a brown stain on it. Well, definitely out of date then. Brown stain? Well, it's like a brown mark on it. Like mould or something. <laughs> you want a big bowl? Um, That'll do. Right. Lovely. Wait a, Wait a minute. And you've just toasted the... Um, what they call salt and pepper them. things. I've buttered them. They looked nicer than they actually taste. Right. But the parmesan might bring some of the flavour out. Right, let's right. go and eat. Wait a minute. We'll what, 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 We've what, got what, to garnish what? it. Oh, no, what with? Cream. Oh, that's fine. I thought you were going to put some, some green on. Green? What do you mean? I don't know. I don't, I don't want any green on like top. A little bit of... Cream. There we go. Perfect. Well, tea was nice, but then Nick got up and I just said, oh, shit. Yeah, oh, that's not what you were. That's not what you were. I think it was a bit more 
Cursive than that. We have cream everywhere. Good job it's not what, dairy. So what were you doing with it? Sticking it up to throw it in the bin. I didn't realise it was half full. It's all over here too. It's everywhere. Like everywhere. Oh, for crying out loud. At least you, the soup was nice though. Well, yeah, it'd be nice tomorrow with the rest of cream. Is there any left? <laughs> Teaspoonful. It's like Halloween Horror Nights, <laughs> but instead of blood, it's cream. <sighs> right, the soup was delicious. We're having it for the next four nights because there's enough left. To we just, we, we could open a soup kitchen. There's enough. We just said before you squirted cream all over the kitchen. Did I? Oh yeah. That was. I'm. I'm distraught over that. There's bloody cream all over the walls and everything. Um, so for the last half hour, we've just been having another declutter. Well, I've just gone ironing. through. He's just been ironing. I've just been going through um, bedding. old bedding old that's bedding faded that with the sun. Some, uh, so I just binned it because we bought new for the back beds a couple of months back, didn't we? Yeah. And they're just the old ones. So I've just binned them. We've run out of white pillowcases. So I don't understand where all those white pillowcases have gone. Shock horror! It's going to be so, the thumbnail. We've run out of white pillowcases. So I need to get on Amazon and get replacements. So we're going to finish the vlog. Hope you've enjoyed spending the day with us, guys. Um, nice little uh, it's trip. It's been a completely into relaxing day, hasn't it? What what did we get? To eleven thousand five hundred and fifty steps. Yeah, I went for a walk after we came back. I went for a walk in the woods. It was caked in sludge. It was up to my ankles in I've seen in you sludge. Use. I know. I'll let you wash them actually. Treat. So thanks for watching today, guys. Hit the like button, click the notification bell, drop us a comment below, hit the subscribe button if you're new around here or if you've just not subscribed as yet. And um, are we going to have an early night? Well, it's quarter to eight, so not that early. See you on the next one. Sweltering. Get that heating put down. No, to do with that, it's because I've been doing stuff for that lodge. Bye, everybody.